Shalom, you guys. Unfortunately, I got to do a video. Um, somebody just sent me the video that uh, Chris just did on um, wheat. And I'm sorry, Chris, you, you're wrong in several places on there. So I got to come on here and correct you because all you're doing is so in confusion with um, your your ignorance and what you're doing. You guys, I want to go to the video that Chris just put out. And, and listen, I love the guy. I promise. This is not the first time that <clears throat> we've disagreed. He was convinced Donald Trump was going to be in office another time, second time, and disagreed with me about Biden in the election. And uh, this, this did cause a rift between us both for several months. And here we are again, another topic on something he knows nothing about. And uh, he says several things that are just not true in this. At 23, today I'm going to talk to you about Shavuot or the Feast of Weeks that you see in Leviticus 23 verses 15 and 16. And of course, you have the two wave lows here. The first thing he implies is it's only a 50 day count. And guys, I have proved this several ways over. You can't grow wheat in 50 days. OK, and you have to have wheat that looks like this or starting to turn brown for the first fruits offering of that and it takes more than six months to do this okay he says something that contradicts himself in here because he has a misunderstanding of what winter wheat is winter wheat is not harvested in the spring nowhere in the earth and i've proven this i've shown you information i've even got a website or a a channel on youtube from ottawa uh, excuse me from um It's from Canada, but uh, I can't think of the problem. I want to say it's Ottawa, but I may be wrong about that. It's it's Canada, okay? And we're going to look at what the wheat looked like six months ago, okay? And compared to what it looks like today. It, it was six months ago that this wheat was planted. It takes more than 100 days. In the seventh month is when the winter wheat is harvested. It takes seven months, you guys. That's a universal truth. You, you, there's no getting, around, getting, getting around that. Okay. So, um, here's the channel here. You can see what the wheat looked like, and this is this is winter wheat, right? Winter wheat is planted in the winter. This is six months ago. So this wheat does not look like this behind me. It's still got a month to go before it looks like this, okay? But this was what it looked like in Canada, <laughs> his own backyard. And he doesn't know that winter wheat is planted in the winter. All wheat, spring or winter, are both harvested in the summer, period. There's nowhere in the world, you guys, where wheat is harvested in the spring, what you're seeing being harvested in the spring is barley. Because barley harvest runs from Pentecost all the way up into now, <laughs> into the first of the, of the summer. So I really wish that people who don't understand agriculture stay out of the out of the argument. Because what you say doesn't make any sense. Let's just go look at his video a little further. There is an argument going on right now about how these two wave lows are actually baked and made. Is it baked and made with the winter wheat or is it baked and made with the summer wheat, the winter wheat, which is planted right? First of all, there's no, no such thing as summer wheat. You only have spring wheat and winter wheat. And those are the planting times. They're both harvested in the summer. That's a fact, you guys. Before the ingathering feast, it lies on the ground. The ground freezes the next spring. As soon as the ground unfreezes, you've got a crop of wheat that's going to start growing immediately before the planting of the current year's wheat, which will mature a whole lot later. It's planted early winter. It lays dormant into the ground until spring 
And then it takes from spring to summer to get a harvest, you guys. That's the growth cycle of winter wheat. What he is saying has, makes no sense at all. And I, 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 it, bur it burdens me to say this, but I highly disagree with you, Chris. You need to research your facts. Then when the winter wheat is, so which wheat are we talking about? The winter or the summer wheat? And there are those out there who are trying to convince others that the Feast of Weeks is actually not just 50 days after not. Passover, but it's actually the full 102 days, which is the time frame it takes for wheat to mature, that you have to count all the way to 102 days in order to practice Shavuot. The winter wheat doesn't exist. What I'm saying with this argument that you don't have any harvestable wheat until around the 100 days is because at 50 days, it's going to look like grass. It's going to look like, hang on just a second, you guys. Well, you, you've seen the pictures in the, uh, in, in the last video. It looks like grass. It's not harvestable. It's not in, it, it, you know, the grains are very soft. If you harvested that and shucked it and, and milled it, you would get a, a paste. You would get a paste. You would get a paste. You would not get flour. Christopher. <laughs> not at 50 days. And that there's a demarcation in our Bible from the translators and the agenda to hide the truth. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that there is nowhere else in the world I'm 100% sure, Chris, and I've searched this for three years, studying the agriculture all around the world. And it just so happened last year when I posted this picture of a wheat field ready for harvest, July 15th, that CNN posted a report of Russian mortars being launched into Ukrainian wheat fields. And they looked exactly like they did in Oregon, in Idaho, in Wyoming, in Colorado, in Kansas, all the way across the nation, this was what we were seeing. And it was summertime. So yes, it's a universal truth. All around the world, they harvest and plant at the same time, depending on the hemisphere that you're on. That they are growing winter wheat, that just because you can't see it in America or in Israel, doesn't mean that nobody else in the world grows winter wheat. And this is not just a figment of our imagination. I'm going to prove this right now. Before I prove the damning evidence, I'm going to read you the scripture and show you what it's actually saying here. And you shall count unto you from the morrow after the Shabbat, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be completed. Right. Okay. So what this is saying in this text and we're we're at a beeb time where passover is and there's going to be a sheaf offering wave okay this is barley because it's the beginning of the barley harvest which runs all the way up into the to the beginning of summer okay so we're waving sheaves of barley right the day after the sabbath where's when's the sabbath well you guys the sabbath's on the 15th every year and it's a high Sabbath because it, it's we're talking about first fruits here. Unleavened bread and first fruits. So you got Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruits. Okay. The commemoration of first fruits is the waving of the sheep, the, the first parts of the harvest. At the beginning of the harvest of the barley, we're going to wave sheaves of barley. Okay. And this is done the morning after the Shabbat, which is the 15th. It's a high Shabbat. And then we count seven Sabbaths complete until the morning after the seventh Sabbath complete. And then we number 50 days. That brings us to about 102, 103 days, counting the new moon. Okay? So make no mistake about it. That is exactly what the text is saying. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number 50 days counting even, in order to even unto the morrow even after even to the day after the seven sabbaths complete 
venue number 50 days. That's exactly what it says. Get to the ripening of the summer wheat. However, they hear that now today in 2023, if you look around in some of these places in the world, there's no winter wheat. There's no winter wheat in, in Israel. There's no winter wheat That's in America. But That's not true. I'm in contact with farmers that are growing winter wheat right now. That is not true. He's making that up. But these are also two nations that are living in very deep sin. And my answer would be, the reason why you don't see it is because Father Yah took it away because of mankind's sin. And still yet, none of this that I've presented is the damning evidence. It should be damning <laughs> when you read it like that. But let, let's I'll jump to the evidence and I'll give you this. some more scripture. In my search for winter let's wheat, this. This, this is, is what I came up with. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> vodka. <laughs> if you look at the bottle, it... You won't see it right away, but look down here. <laughs> Made with Swedish water and winter wheat. That's interesting. Yeah, and if you follow that info trail, you should get to this webpage, Absolute Elix, which is wheat, source of the finest winter wheat from just one single estate. This is it. Again, winter wheat planted in winter is harvested in late summer. In Sweden where they still have a permafrost that's right you need a per uh, again this is another false statement you do not need a permafrost for winter wheat that's an ig ignorant statement and is not true permafrost in order to have winter wheat something that you don't have in america and something you don't have in israel and you you actually do have a permafrost in places like Oregon, Idaho, um, Nebraska. So again, speaking out of whatever, uh, not saying anything true here. You can just reflect on the time of Hezekiah and the, what happened there. The sun was turned back nine steps on the sundial. The earth changed. When the scriptures was given, there was a permafrost in Israel. But we're going through climate change and, yeah, the Hezekiah account, a few thousand. Really? Climate change? <laughs> a thousand years later, yes, we have no more permafrost in some of these areas, which it's means you the cannot label, grow Chris, winter wheat without it. That. If you're a farmer, you would not risk financial suicide planting a winter wheat where there's no permafrost. That's good advice from the son of a wheat farmer. Now, read this. A process perfected for centuries. Little has changed since. A process perfected for centuries. He doesn't understand what he's reading here. Guys, watch what it says. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. First started cultivating its wheat in the 1400s, sown in September. Sown in September. Sown in September. Okay, which is, you know... Autumn is, is going into winter. So, you know, in some of the some of the different zones, that may be, and I've explained this, how they would try to extend their grow growing periods, right? But that's not that's not that's not the issue here. When is wheat harvested? Watch what he says. September, the wheat kernels quickly start to germinate, but then the whole process slows down with the approach of autumn. Right. And the cold winter temperatures, when spring arrives, the wheat bursts back into life. When spring arrives, you get a wheat field like I just showed you in Ottawa, where it comes up like grass. But what? How long does it take? Together, this six month head start and the long, warm summer days. The long summer, warm, warm summer days. So you got to go through six months of growing and the long summer months until you get a harvest. Right there on the label, and I can't believe the guy even posted this video after he reads this for himself. Warm summer days, Chris, it takes to get the wheat. 
mean that the gr wheat grows at an accelerated pace, accelerated, less than 102 days. Really? So it just told you in the, in the, um, the article here that it takes six months. Let's calculate that. How many days are in six months? It's like 100 days, something like that. 100 days? And that's the six months before the summer days, right? So that means it's more than 100 days, correct? Come on, Chris, you got to do better than that, brother. Creating the high starch content we value so much. Isn't that interesting? It's very Here, let me blow that up just a little bit more so Please do. everybody can see it. Yeah, so let's look at that. The whole process slows down with the approach of autumn and the cold winter temperatures because it's, it's going dormant. When spring arrives, the wheat bursts through back of life, nowhere near harvesting or to get a first fruits. Together, this six month head start and the long, warm summer days means that the wheat grows at an accelerated pace. So this means it has to take the, the summer days before it matures, before you can get a grain that you can grind into a flour and not a paste. I don't think we need to see anything further in this video, but let's just continue because he seems to have an argument here that, that he's convicted about. There you go. So what you're looking at in scripture, okay, you have ripe wheat and overripe wheat. By Shavuot, 50 days after Passover, the wheat that was planted the previous year is now ripe and you could actually harvest it between 50. You guys, I, I, I really pray that you can see the ignorance here, that you could see this. Because wheat planted in the spring and in an autumn or in the winter or whenever they do it, it's, it's still harvested in the summer. And at 50 days, it's still green. It cannot be made into a flower. And that is a fact. 50 days and 102 days. But what they do is they leave it in the ground and they harvest it with the summer wheat. Now get this. You have Micah chapter 7 verse 1. You guys, ignorance here. Ignorance, and I wouldn't pay any, any, any more attention. Um, you know, I, I've tried with Chris. There are times where he comes against you know, a uh, truth that I put out <laughs> again, like I said, the last time this happened, this was about the election. Chris said, and, and it, which is really interesting because the other day he claimed that he called Biden winning all along. I don't recall it that way, Chris. You took the side of, of Glazerson, which was saying that Donald Trump was going to get a second term. I don't see anybody else on the internet. As a matter of fact, I was calling out 400 false prophets claiming that Donald Trump was going to be in, in, in their, this second term, back-to-back, back-to-back terms. It didn't happen. And I told you it didn't happen for months ahead of time. Um, so this is not the first time Chris and I have disagreed. And he's got a right to believe what he wants to. But it's my job to clear up confusion, especially when he tags his videos with mine. Shalom to you guys. Don't fall for this. Go look in the fields in Oklahoma and Nebraska and all the places where you are at what the, what the wheat looks like. Harvest some of it. Try to grain, grind those grains up. See what happens. It turns into paste. Shalom. May you will bless you. There's a mystery here, you guys. We have been deceived on this thing called Pentecost and counting the Omer in the 50 days. Shalom to you. May you will bless you.